Hi everyone, I'm Brenda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making gluten-free bisquick ham and cheese muffins. These are really easy to make. I'm using the gluten-free bisquick baking mix. I've made these several times and I always forget to video it. I just picked up this spatula. Isn't this great? Keep calm and bake on. So let's get started on this really easy recipe. In a large bowl, I used a fork to slightly beat two eggs. I added the gluten-free bisquick, milk, and oil. I'm using a wooden spoon. I'm going to stir this just until it's combined. You don't want to over mix this. My batter has been mixed together. I switched over to the rubber spatula. I'm going to add the ham that's been diced up. And I'm using a Mexican cheese blend. You can use just regular cheddar or Swiss cheese. And I'm just going to use a spatula to fold this in. It's a very thick batter. So let me show you what it looks like after it's all mixed. Here's what the batter looks like. I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to help evenly measure out the muffins. I'm going to place them in a muffin tin that's been sprayed with cooking spray. In the meantime, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. You will get 12 to 14 muffins. I didn't want to dirty up another muffin tin, so I used a ramekin dish. And this is holding what would be two muffins. Sprinkle each muffin with some more shredded cheese. These are now ready to go into the oven and bake. Cook the muffins until they're golden brown. That takes approximately 18 to 20 minutes. I'm now going to remove them and place them on a wire rack. These muffins are best served warm. I'm going to be slicing one in just a moment so you can see what it looks like on the inside. These make a wonderful breakfast or a mid-afternoon snack with a cup of coffee or tea. If I have leftover, which I usually do when it's just my husband and I, I will take each muffin, individually wrap them in plastic wrap, and place them in a container in the freezer. And then when I'm ready to serve them, I'll unwrap a couple and just microwave for about 20-30 seconds. Here's the inside of the muffin. You can see the ham and the cheese. It has a nice texture and it's soft. I'm going to serve this with some soft butter. These muffins are delicious. I hope you'll give them a try. They're so easy to make. If you'd like a printed copy of this recipe, I'll leave the link for my blog in the description bar. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.